If we go all the way back to the beginning of the buying cycle, what we really need to think about is the fact that the customer isn't buying an enclosure. What they're buying is something to protect the equipment that's going to make their production line work. So the enclosure comes after all the things that they've designed into the system. After that, they think about cooling all those pieces of equipment that are inside that enclosure. What we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that cooling the equipment inside there is top of mind so that people don't get to the end and go, oh no, I don't have enough cooling to make sure this line is going to work. The temperature from which a mil spec standard start is at 72 degrees Fahrenheit. That's room temperature for most people. When you start getting 18 degrees above that, you half-life your components. And every 18 degrees beyond that, that roughly translates to 10 degrees Celsius. So every 10 degrees Celsius rise, you half-life your components. That isn't to say your components won't work at those temperatures. It just means that they will work for a shorter period of time at those temperatures. When we did our Voice of the Customer survey, one of the things that we found out was that less than 50 50% of equipment goes out with cooling installed. And that means that the end user then has the responsibility to properly size and install the cooling at their location. 